and welcome to part three of the Sonic the Hedgehog playthrough. We are going to finish up Spring Yard Zone and Jungle Zone in this part, and we're going to move on to, you guessed it, the Labyrinth Zone. Because oh, <laughs> I totally would have been able to guess it. <laughs> <boy. laughs> Alright, we'll uh, get to it. Zone, we'll get one to the it. most notorious zones. Oh, yes. Sonic. <laughs> this is where Yuji Naka had a dumb, uh, an oopsie moment and said, "Hedgehogs can can't swim, can they? No, they can't. Yeah, that's right. No, they can't." <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's the thing. yeah, I, I guess they just thought hedgehogs couldn't swim or something. So he just he just made it so Sonic couldn't swim. <laughs> uh, an oopsie moment. I'm like, oh, let's just fuck with our players. <laughs> yeah. I've been a little bit of both, honestly. Well, probably, <laughs> yeah. if we're going back into that mentality of trying to be the opposite of everything Mario is. So, like, Sonic, unlike Mario, can survive in lava. But unlike Mario, <laughs> uh, Sonic can, we uh, let's make Sonic not be able to swim. <laughs> which Mario can swim. And that's the one downside when comparing the two. <laughs> yeah. Because Sonic has everything else. The blue... The speed, uh, the spin, uh, the robots, I guess. <laughs> the moment <laughs> the momentum sure. based platforming. But no swimming. <laughs> not a lot not of swimming. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh gee, we're not even there yet. Uh, but uh Yeah, so right now, uh by the end of the spring yard zone, uh yeah, right here. So down below you are bottomless pit <laughs> because really we're, yeah we're coming to the home stretch where the boss of the zone will be so they figured like another thing that's also different about uh mario and sonic kind of and also in terms of gameplay wise is like uh after i haven't watched super mario bros uh you guys could tell like there's only like one I guess, like, <laughs> one predetermined pathway for you to take with only a couple yeah. of secrets here and there where you can collect coins or something like that, right? Or, like, speed up your way through the game. Right. And then, uh, with Sonic, uh, you actually have multiple branching pathways that you can take. So you can either take, like, uh, like, you start out with the one path and it branches up into an upper path and a lower path. Path. <laughs> uh, yeah. <clears throat> an upper path a lower path and also a center path as well as the center path just continues along so you have sure. options you actually have options to like go through it's sort of like an explorative explorative not tative <laughs> explorative uh, <laughs> kind of uh, uh, game design a uh, design philosophy I guess because if you were like to take up the the higher pathway you can find much more ring monitors and, and stuff up there more goodies up there whereas you take the lower path uh, you won't be able to find those goodies, but you'll most likely be able to uh, beat the level faster. And so, and you also have like the options to like jump from the high path and then go down to the low path and find some way to jump back up to the higher path. You have options with your explorative uh, uh, capabilities. Desire. Yeah. Unlike some Sonic games. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Unlike some. <laughs> Unlike some. Like, at least with the ones that are not as... They don't really emphasize a lot of exploration. They still have some sort of a recognizable branching pathway. <laughs> but it's something that Mario basically doesn't have with the except yeah. with like the occasional uh, underground cave with coins and stuff like that you know that's kind of why like I gravitate towards Sonic more than I do Mario because I actually do like the explorative uh, kind of uh, nature with Sonic's level design and that's mm. why and you also have like a more fun time playing the game if you were to do it like that because like i i've done playthroughs where i've gone by with any 2d sonic game uh, i was do doing 2d sonic right now uh uh i've done playthroughs where i just hold right and jump at the right moments and it's usually not that fun of a time if i'm being perfectly honest <laughs> i can imagine <laughs> yeah whereas like some playthroughs uh uh i go out of my way 
to uh, explore uh, the ups and downs and all arounds <laughs> of the level design, and I and I end up pun like, enti- entirely intended. <laughs> pun entirely intended. <laughs> and I can usually find like a whole bunch of ring monitors, one-up monitors, uh, shields, elemental shields, in later games, which we will get to <laughs> in years to come. But uh, yeah, it's <laughs> actually it's actually a lot more fun that way if you were to do it like that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how you guys play your. Uh, at least your 2D Sonics like that. I don't play that many. Have you played any 2D Sonic, Carlos? Uh, the uh, classic Sonic and Sonic Generations. <laughs> yeah, I think I have actually. Oh, is that it? Really? <laughs> uh, uh, I'm trying to remember because, like I said, Sonic Generations was like the first one. Well, like the first actual good one they played. <laughs> the first actual good <laughs> one. Okay, but uh, Josh is like, how how do you play your 2D Sonic games if you do something like what I do? I usually, I mean, like the first time around, I usually just kind of, uh, I, I don't really kind of worry about usually like the other pads if there are any stuff like that. But if I'm playing it again, which if I like it, I obviously probably will play it again. Then I'll usually kind of take my time and see if there's like extra things I could probably find along the way. Gotcha. Yeah. I, I think that's also like a beauty when it comes down to that uh, design. It's There's a replayability factor to it. It's yeah. like you always have like a different experience. It's like I took the lower path on my first playthrough. I think today I will take the upper pathway. <laughs> see how that'll work. Except with this corridor right here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So this is Labyrinth Zone. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we've been in here for like two and a half minutes. So like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so I, I in the later levels of song, I guess like the explorative factor doesn't really play in but it's also it, part of the fact is because you are working with a slower level design i guess there isn't much momentum basing here to, <laughs> to be done <laughs> as you can see from that narrow corridor where i lost all my rings god damn it <laughs> no remember the uh, in an earlier part i was saying something about like how the levels weren't in like a like we're in a bit of a different order than how they are now oh yeah yeah, I don't exactly remember the order, but I'm pretty sure I vaguely remember at least hearing that Labyrinth Zone was actually supposed to be earlier in the game than it is here. Oh, really now? Yeah. Well, I'm <laughs> glad like they hell. did not do that. <laughs> I'm really glad they did not do that. I'm actually, oh, you get to see the Game Gear version of Labyrinth now. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna be here in Labyrinth for a while. So yeah, you can see that it's sort of similar to the Genesis counterpart. <laughs> no way. In a way. In a special way. <laughs> and it's own- I almost hit those spikes there. I was gonna say, there's no way of knowing you would hit <laughs> those were there. <laughs> yeah. So it's sort of similar. Similar badnik, similar level assets and all that. But uh, as you can see, the water is much more slower. <laughs> reverse through uh video uh, oh oh okay <laughs> yeah the water is much more uh sluggish to traverse through than the genesis counterpart it definitely looks like it <laughs> uh-huh it's it's not fun if if the video would okay <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh yeah and also there is oh, like geez. yeah there's no drowning theme in the game gear version it's just a couple like uh uh, you know, radar beeps. blips. <laughs> yeah, just a couple of beeps. Like, if you're looking at a submarine radar, it'd basically be like that, but not really. Beep, but 8 bit. Beep, 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 <laughs> yeah. beep, beep. Where's, oh, uh oh. There it is. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> the next Sonic 06 loading screen. <laughs> I think it goes back to the guys talking. Hey. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, and then another loading screen. <laughs> God, I fucking hate the, the side missions in Sonic 06 because you have to go through four loading screens. <laughs> it is ridiculous. Oh. We're not. C <laughs> we're cutting out the loading screens rather if we do that. Oh, you bet your ass we're cutting out the loading screens if I we're doing Sonic 06. <laughs> I was about to say we're not cutting them out. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> and then I said, wait a minute, no, 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 that's incorrect. 
Oh man. But uh, yeah. What if, what, if, what, if, what if we just like did the game normally and then we had like bonus episodes where we just wait through all the loading screens? <laughs> oh no! And <laughs> <laughs> just you know what the fuck we talk about during the loading screens? Did you like fucking bloopers? <laughs> right. <laughs> bloopers. Oh man. Bloop. Come on, I can make this jump. Yeah, oh, damn it. <laughs> yeah, the water also gimps your jump if you're trying to jump out of it. There you go. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Don't mess it up. <laughs> Don't mess it up. <laughs> Don't, mess it up. <laughs> Don't mess it up. I mess it up, god damn. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. We finally beat Labyrinth Zone, but not really, because we still got four more acts. <laughs> we still got a long way to go until we're out of hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Th this might be, I guess for both versions, this would be like the low point of the, uh, I guess the progression, I suppose. Because water is not fun in this in this game, in either game. Very sluggish, you're not going fast, and you want to go yeah, Water's fast. usually not very fun in any game. <laughs> yeah, no, not really. I don't, I don't know what it is about water levels, they just can't be fun. <laughs> 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 They're not allowed to be fun. They're not allowed, but but uh, game developers put them in anyway. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh damn it, we're still here. <laughs> you could technically, make an argument like that for uh, for ice levels too. Yeah, I, I guess. Uh, anyway. I guess when the developers want to create like an environmentally gimmicked uh, uh, world in a game. They're just like there's some natural aspects to the to the element that just make it f not fun. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know how to describe it. I'm not sure exactly what the philosophy is behind making these sorts of uh, like water levels or ice levels, but they do it anyway just to be things. I guess there are also some exceptions to these rules because now I'm remembering like Ice Cap from Sonic 3 doesn't really have any uh, ice physics to it. Because that's the, that's the thing about ice levels. There, are these things called ice physics, which means it's a uh, it's bad. You skate around and then you fall yeah, down. just slip all <laughs> over the place. Boom. But I don't remember the ice cat from Sonic 3 ever having anything like that. Despite having ice in the name. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? It's so wild. I can't think of a water level from a game that like has an exception to this rule, but I I, uh, I don't know the type of design philosophy behind that stuff. Huh. Which is why we're still in Labyrinth Zone. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it's invincibility. Yeah, you know, I guess not like the biggest threat in this Labyrinth Zone isn't from the water, it's because of like everything else in it. Because <laughs> there are a whole <laughs> bunch of spikes and spears and whatever that pendulum thing was and that angry <laughs> that angry red thing I guess it could have made the water level fun there's like m more branching pathways than what's presented here it's very restrictive very because yeah. I mean from what it seems like you're just kind of going in one direction dude, in the underwater section <laughs> yeah I, I guess um, I guess with some of the later ones like the uh, multiple branching pathways condensed to like very minimal stuff and also considering it's the first game they didn't really um like they had it in mind uh, just to differ itself from mario but uh it had to be um it came at the cost of doing some like uh pacing I suppose. yeah <laughs> damn it <laughs> <laughs> that was gonna shit. <laughs> that was gonna drown, but no, I did not drown. I lived. I lived. Yeah, there's a Jaws version in the Genesis when you're drowning, but not in the game here. Which we oh, oh that's what that's the theme supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> yeah, I see it. Yeah. Because if, if you if you can picture it in your head right now, it's like. Mm. It's like mm -hmm. And it's yeah, I, I can I can kind of hear it now. I, I did not know that it was into it for the longest time. <laughs> yeah, I think that another thing that was supposed to be like cool about Sonic, but like he's all '90s cool and stuff. I'm not sure when Jaws released, but I think that was I think that was cool at one point. <laughs> Until yeah. they made like Jaws five, six, and seven, and the Revenge, which is dumb. <laughs> Jaws five thousand. 
<laughs> Josh is robot Josh. Yeah, you're you're <laughs> you say that as a joke, Josh, but um, <laughs> it was a thing. <laughs> so I I, I, look, I got, I got all the, six I got, now. I got all the cans, <laughs> emeralds, and gems. I, I was just about, I was literally just about to say there's one more, and I was like, wait a sec, this isn't that one. <laughs> this, no, this, no. That's the wrong Sonic game. <laughs> this is the first game. But uh, no, uh, <laughs> say that as a joke, Josh. There's actually some movie called Jaws: The Revenge. Where it was like the Jaws from the Close first enough. Jaws from the first movie was actually a character, not just some random shark, apparently, and uh, he had it out for those damn fishermen who avoided his Jaws in the very first movie, and now he's going to do something. It's dumb. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> what animal would fucking say? Oh, I got hurt. And nearly died. Let me go go fight them again. <laughs> <laughs> right? Because animals are purely um, well, instinctive, and now we're playing a game about uh, anthropomorphic. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but uh, if we were to go with uh, <laughs> animals in the real life, <laughs> what sets the animal apart from the human is because the human has faculties of reason, whereas the animal does not. They may have emotions, but the animals are purely instinctive as soon as you as soon as you die you're and even if your dog loves you your dog is going to eat your corpse <laughs> it's just an inevitable fact of uh just the uh, cycle of life it is a cycle <laughs> of life. life yeah <laughs> just like <laughs> well said king mufasa <laughs> uh, mufasa no like you're just on the floor dying, your dog's like, LONG LIVE FOR THE KING! <laughs> uh, also, don't watch the uh, quote-unquote live-action version, it's garbage. <laughs> the newer one? Yeah, the yeah. newer one. It's, um, it's, it's not good. Pretty sure all, all three of us grew up on, like, the, uh, anime one, no? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad all of that stuff was in our childhood. I'm glad we were born in 2002 and not uh, whenever that movie came out. <laughs> I mean, if we were born, if we were born like even on that year specifically, then you know we we would have known that it was complete shit. Uh, yeah. Well, are you saying? Uh, we wouldn't have known that, uh, the, like, the original animated one wouldn't be a thing, but we would just have the 3D one to go back to if we were born, like... Yeah. Okay. But then... I think so, at least. But then we, would we, like, eventually find out that the, um, okay. live-action one was remake? Oh, yeah. I didn't, I didn't real. I took a break and uh, I didn't realize I didn't have screen smoothing turned on, so I actually don't know how much that would affect the actual video. It actually looks better now, actually. Is an all pixelated and everything on the Genesis version, but uh, yeah, would we eventually find out that um? No, it, no, no. Well, I'm thinking like if we were born like on that year that the movie came out, then it would be like it would be like what till like we were four to five years old that we would actually be able to watch it and someone remember it. But at that point, like our parents were like, "This one's kind of shit. Let's let's just show them the animated one instead." Yeah, uh, yeah, I think I was asking when would we like theoretically figure out that there was a remake of the classic movie? Then we just watched the classic movie instead. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Just don't watch it. It's 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 not good. <laughs> I I unfortunately watched it, and like the biggest problem I have with it is like the like the characters don't look like characters. It, like, <clears throat> think if the uh, the Sonic movie uh, was an actual hedgehog and not like the cartoon <laughs> hedgehog that they put That's on. Basically what it was like. That's basically what the Lion King remake is. Like, there's no but character. The they just like generic ass lions. <laughs> yeah, the thing I is, mean, I, I mean, I, I still would have watched a Sonic movie if it was just a hedgehog. That would be pretty funny. Those <laughs> can be expressive. But not as expressive as they can be, like animation. Animation just accentuate, uh, right. exaggerate, uh, like a lot of things. And the, and like another problem with the the remake is like you couldn't tell the difference between the lines because they all look uh, the same. Uh, yeah, that I think I that's more. What, I think that's more what I'm getting at. Like the characters, quote unquote, don't have any character to them because of their, uh, I guess. <laughs> 
<laughs> quote, they're live just action. Up lions. <laughs> yeah, they are straight up lions and coyotes and what have you. It's it's not good. <laughs> if they had done something like Sonic, however, <laughs> where there are blue, oh, yeah, there are blue lions. <laughs> <laughs> they had a blue line. <laughs> and we were about to speed of sound. <laughs> exactly. And Sonic would be very, a very different franchise. He was a head, uh, a line probably instead. <laughs> Sonic a line. Um, yeah, I, I think when I was doing the like sort of light research into like the whole development of Sonic the Hedgehog uh, back in 1991, it's like they they were like cycling through like a bunch of animal mascots to figure out which one looked the best. There's like yeah. that's why I introduced this playthrough as like Mr. Needle Mouse because that was technically his name before they settled on Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Needle Mouse. That's a fucking It's inter it's interesting history. And not only was there that, they're also like deciding between what to do with uh like like Dr. Eggman here, he wasn't actually supposed to be the villain originally. He was actually yeah. supposed to be the protagonist, but it was just a fat old guy in pajamas. <laughs> yeah, it was just an old guy, yeah, in like polka dot pajamas or something stupid like that, <laughs> with a big mustache, and like that was pretty much it. <laughs> right. Then they're like, but, no. That means... Then what was Sonic in, in this in the story then? Ah. Uh, was he just like the villain instead? I, I don't know, but I, they're just cycling. But the rules are reversed. <laughs> they're just cycling through a bunch of animal mascots. So they had, they I, and I think what I heard is like they came down to two, and it was a hedgehog and an armadillo. But they chose the hedgehog, and then the armadillo yeah. later became mighty the armadillo. I, yeah, I, I think at one point one of the ideas they had when they were going through different ideas, I think was like a rabbit. Yeah, I rec I recall something like that as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll yeah, get they're, they're, they're eventually, then they eventually just kind of settled on the hedgehog. <laughs> yeah. I'm also glad that we spent all of Labyrinth Zone talking about a stupid Lion King movie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what else are we going to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for subscribing to the Gamebox channel.